What I'm going to do is put two compressors on, 1176 first to catch the peak transients, and then the LA-2A compressor, which is a slower opto compressor. Um, I won't get into what an optical compressor is, but there are various reasons that's a slower compressor to react. And that is going to smooth out the transients after this one's caught the peak transients. Something wicked about you, baby. Look in your eyes today. It says that you know you always turn me on. Have your... Now, obviously, there are vocals coming through this acoustic guitar channel as well. I've recorded this, uh, Jesse, in the same room with both microphones live. So there's more guitar in this one, but. You know, he was the mic was only an extra foot away from his uh, mouth. Nice. So for those of you who haven't used an 1176, how that's working is we've got the input uh, gain here, which is basically how much we're driving into the compressor. We've then got our mix dial here, which is how much of this is coming into the mix. Then we've got the output, and that's how much gain is going to the next thing in line, so whether that's the output or the other compressor. Now, this is important with an LA-2A style compressor because an LA-2A style compressor doesn't have an input gain, so it's relying on a line level loud signal coming into the compressor to then do its job and compressing the signal. So the reason you would go 1176 first and then LA-2A is for this exact reason that the LA-2A doesn't have uh, an input gain. It does have an output gain, which really does affect the sound. Now let's just go for the standard one here. So as you can see there, nothing was really happening with the LA-2A. That's because I need to push the output. So we're coming up to a reasonably loud section, which is a good place to test this. There is a sound to the LA-2A. Uh, which I, I like, and I think Universal Audio really capture it quite well with this plugin. 